Hello, welcome to Minecraft Maker. This is Theron, and today we're going to go look at the portal situation. Uh, I need some supplies first. Uh, I built this little... This is a really simple thing to do. Um, hoppers can feed both the uh, both inputs and the output of, of furnaces, which is kind of cool. So you can put up here, you can put fuel, and it'll feed down through this hopper. Or not, this is this is for the fuel. So I've got a bunch of coal in here. It'll feed down through this hopper, which is full, down into the fuel portion of the furnace. So the furnace is constantly fed with fuel as needed. Uh, I like using chunks of coal because it's really plentiful in the game. Um, blocks of coal are great if you're going to be doing tons and tons of smelting, but frankly, um, I don't usually have that much smelting to do at once. Um, and you put the items that you want to smelt up here. So I've got some more logs that I would like to smelt into more charcoal. So I've been smelting charcoal here. Um, I've got some smooth stone and a some stone bricks and some glass panes here, which I want to bring with me today. Um, but let me just demonstrate the uh, thing here. If I pop this down, notice they start then loading in through here. And no, that was not a zombie. That was dogs in real life. Clancy, stop. Uh, so they, they load in down through here and then load up in here. And so then they go through and do their thing and they'll dump out here. So I have plenty of charcoal to make uh, torches, but I've got plenty of torches here. So I don't really need... Hang on a second. Thank you. Isn't that better? Okay, dogs are now behaving. So this is a simple way of if you've got more than... Um, if you have plenty of time, but you have more... Then eight things at once to smelters block of 64. You can just throw them in here and they'll all end up getting done. Okay, so I wanted to get those supplies because I recorded a video of me going into the nether and executing the nether strategy. Um, as I've mentioned multiple times, this nether portal goes to a re originally went to a really bad spot in the nether. Really bad. So I, um, it, was, it was on top of what appeared to be a single platform of nether rack. And, uh, and in an area that was heavily patrolled by ghasts by all accounts, uh, by all experience. And, um, and it was right next to a cliff that, you know, underneath the cliff and the single platform single block platform of netherrack was a gargantuan pool of lava so that was no good so i was hoping i went over to my away base and uh, set up another portal there and was hoping that it would go to a different place in the nether it did not um and i think i figured out why it ended up linking to the same portal uh, as this one and this was really annoying and initially uh, they both came back here which was fine. Um, so I decided what I wanted to do was relocate the, the portal in the nether. So I, I went in and I recorded all this, but I don't think I'm going to post it because it's, it's not terribly exciting. Parts of it get exciting, but not in the, in the right way. Uh, so I, there was a small mountain of netherrack next to where the portal was. So I quick stepped out through the portal and quickly turned to that mountain and dug a little hole inside the netherrack mountain and lined it with stone bricks to give it a little bit more blast resistance than the netherrack which the the ghasts blow up willy-nilly left and right so uh then i then i built a room big enough to hold some you know supplies a crafting table a chest and i built another portal inside that room and then went out and destroyed the portal outside the room just to make sure that nothing traveled back from there through here and i figured since it was only about a dozen blocks away the the nether portal inside the room would link back here it did not so let me go show you the the results of my work so hello chicken oh 
Oh, spider got through. Okay. Uh, so yeah, mobs are able to come in through. So this... Oh, sorry, chicken, you really should be here. Um, so that was the original portal, which I destroyed by mining away a couple of the blocks. Took freaking forever. Um, and as you can see... Um, as you can see... It's really a dangerous spot here. Not much down below. There does appear to be a sort of a large quantity of nether over there. So I want to take advantage of that nether rack over there. Whoops. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Sorry, chicken. I don't need you opening the door and letting in some zombie pigmen or something. So I think I can dig through over this direction and actually start mining nether rack. This direction doesn't work so well because there's not much of the uh, the cliff that I'm on left. And I have a small problem here. If I dig away this, there's some lava up above that then flows down into the room. So I have to figure out how to deal with that situation. Uh, but, you know, I have a chest that I've collected some stuff. I have some, uh, some stone bricks, which is good. Uh, I have a crafting table and a furnace, which I have some fuel in. Um, and yeah, okay, I really should have left my, um, compass and clock back in the other uh, overworld. Uh, the compass, when I come out of the nether, will not point towards spawn anymore. Um, quitting the game and starting again seems to fix it, but, uh, it's kind of annoying. So I, I will, and I'll record some of this in the future episode, dig out this way very carefully to see if I can um, start a tunnel, larger room area, and uh, mine out some nether rack and some quartz. I really need quartz um, for some of my redstone stuff. I have a handful, but I need more. And I also need, uh, I also want some glowstone, which... Uh, this is probably a bad location to try and get it in the first place. I should also replace this ceiling with more stone brick and hopefully do so without getting myself burned to death by lava. Um, so anyway, so I got this all built and it works and it's nice. I have a, a safe place where I can come to the nether, which is awesome. And a, a way of, you know, drain outward. Um, and I was, I was expecting that because this was, you know, only about 10, 12, 15 blocks away from where that portal was, maybe 20, it was pretty close, that it would link to the same place. Unfortunately, it does not. It puts me out in the middle of somewhere. Uh, I was heavily wooded. I cut back some trees here. And, um, yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, time appears to move pretty quickly in the port in the nether too. I don't know where that came from. Okay, so now, actually, as I as I said, let me clear out some of this. Um, now notice that my compass is now pointing some way that direction, which is not correct. Um, home is actually this direction, and you can actually see. the peak of my wood uh, my dirt tower right there it's actually pretty close so I have a feeling that what's going on is this is the correct overworld location for a portal from inside the room in my nether outpost um, and all of the space in between here and where the portal is over at home base is actually out over that lava that lava ocean in the in the nether and that the I should, it's getting get dark hang on I was hoping to do this on one day but we'll work it out um, and I was hoping that um, oh and I think the the away base portal is close enough is also out over the lake and when there was only one portal in the nether the one outside you know the original one that was spawned uh, I've I think that it was the closest best match 
so they both went to the same place in the nether uh, in that they're neither of them are in a good place to go so uh, but now that I built a new portal in the nether that was that was the actual correct overworld location for it and that was the <coughs> pardon me um, so that's how far off or how far over the lava I would have spawned um, as if it didn't try to do some autocorrection on the portals when it creates them in the nether. So let's go back over there. I, I put some supplies in a chest over there and I carried over a few more. And what I want to do is create a little space so that if I come back and it's the middle of the night coming back from the nether, I have a safe place to hunker down for a little bit um, and a bed to sleep in if need be. Yeah, and so notice now my... Uh, my compass is now pointing that would be interesting if it was actually pointing at the uh the nether portal here but it doesn't it points off somewhere that direction which is exactly opposite from here where it should be pointing which is mighty annoying um so uh that caused me a bit of a problem the first time i came back from the nether i need some cobblestone Oh, I have some here, that's right. Uh, so the first time I came back from the nether, I, um, the first two times, I correctly sort of guessed the correct, the correct direction to go. I said, oh, let's go this way. And I hadn't cleared out this, these trees yet, so I, uh, but I got lucky and ended up walking right towards home, which was great. Um, subsequent times I didn't get so lucky and or then the next time I came through I didn't get so lucky and I had um, well, it's just a sheep um, subsequent times I came through I didn't get so lucky and um, I I actually tried to follow the compass proved to be a bit of a mistake and I ended up wandering all over the continent in the areas I had traveled before but you know so I was like recognizing stuff but not entirely and it was really annoying because it was like I know where this is but I don't know where to go from here if that makes any sense and uh, so I ended up wandering all over the place eventually um, stumbled upon the away base so I got I got lucky all right so I got some glass here and I have some more glass to do things with and so let's put in some windows so I can actually see what's going on outside here Don't accidentally wander into the portal. Well, I suppose it's probably not the worst thing in the world if I did. Okay, so get some more. Oh. Okay then. I need wood. Fortunately, there are trees, trees nearby. And I have a I have a pretty good axe. So if I go and put over here, let's see, I can take these guys, turn them into planks, and then make oops. A crafting table. Put the crafting table down here. And then what's the recipe for glass planes? Is that? Is that? 
Um, is it that? How do I make glass plate? Okay, hang on a second. Okay, all right, sorry about that. Look, glass planes. All right, hopefully that's enough. Um, maybe I don't need to make the whole side of the building glass. But it would be convenient to be able to uh, see what's going on outside. Um, let's see, I'm going to make a little bedroom. <laughs> so we will, um, don't want to mess up my good tools here. Let's make the entrance to the bedroom. Let's do there and there. And, um, and obviously we don't need windows into there. Right, and then, oh, glass here. There we go. Um, okay, now we got some dirt. Let's, let's build a little, I don't know if I'll finish all the stuff tonight. gonna quickly just finish this off Oops. Ah, crap. don't need it to be that tall so deft at uh, navigating these uh, these sorts of things okay from any of the beasties. Getting in that, that hole, the doorway. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly plop down a, a roof on here. And if I have time, which I will not, um, we will Uh, 
Yeah, the top of the portal doesn't need to be inside the structure, does it? It'll still function. Okay, and then we need to light the interior a bit. I got plenty of torches. Uh, I don't need that one there. And you can go there. Oh, it's a problem with making the wall entirely glass. I can't place torches on it. Okay, that's fine. I just need to make sure that nothing spawns in here while I'm not while I'm away. That should take care of it. Um, well, we could do this. Hang on. Yeah, here we go. Isn't that big? All right. I'll probably relocate that chest. Is there temporarily? much of this can I do without getting into a lot of trouble the bedroom area doesn't need to be that large really it just needs to be large enough to hold a bed and again it doesn't actually need to have windows want to make it uh, three tall though. Glowing trees in the distance are always a little creepy, aren't they? All right, so. This isn't gonna win any architecture awards, but it will be safe. It's the important thing. Let's go get the bed. Bed. And place the bed here. Hello. Okay. Sleep in bed. Okay. We are now completely safe. Compass some points in the absolutely wrong direction but anyway you get the idea I'll clean this up a little bit we'll put in some stone floors and or wooden floors make it a little homey this will be our away cabin you can store some uh, some stuff have a little stash out here and step out the front door and walk straight forward straight ahead and ha ah. And also this way, nothing can mess with my portal. And I could also put a beacon on the top. Um, okay. Uh, let's make this a little bit more livable. Where's that zombie sound coming from? Ooh, creeper, get away. There we go. Okay, very good. So that was successful. Um, so I'm going to go back home and uh, work on some other stuff and uh, bring some other materials over and uh, clean up the place a little bit. We'll look at it again in the future. 
I have some additional work to do in the nether. As I said, I, I want to uh, start mining quartz uh, so that I can build some compare writers. Uh, and that's it. So that'll do for now. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you liked it, go ahead and click on the like button. If you like what I'm doing here, you can subscribe to my channel and see future episodes. And that will do it for today. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching Minecraft Maker.